Hello, and in today's 5 Minute Friday, we're going to be discussing a new feature called Linear Mapping. Linear Mapping is an extremely useful feature if you find yourself mapping something such as a road or a river or even the outskirts of a building without covering the building itself. Pretty much anything where you want the drone to follow the path instead of flying the typical back and forth lawnmower pattern. For this, I'm going to use this example here where the client wanted a view of the road here, but from a very low altitude. And they didn't want the building, they just wanted to see the ground itself. So I'm going to show you how to set this up and then what happens when we run it. So here we are ready to plan and I'm going to start by right clicking on the screen and you'll see linear map is not one of the options. You have to go down here and select advanced and then you'll see this new option called linear map. We're going to click on that. You can also find the linear map option if you click the create button. Now by default, the linear map is going to start quite high up at around 285 feet. And for what I'm trying to do here, that's, that's far too high. So I'm going to have to go in and make some adjustments here. So I'm going to start, I'm going to bring this down to just 50 feet and you'll see that it automatically changes. And then I'm going to start dragging these these white dots. These white dots, the solid white dots, are the corners of the linear map. So I'm going to put one here and I'll refine this in a bit, but I'll put one here, one here, and one here. And now we can zoom in and make some adjustments. So I'm zooming in and let's just bring this out a bit. I want to keep it away from the building. I'm also aware that there are power lines here and the power lines actually right on this corner here. I don't want to go into that. So what you'll see is you've got two different types of lines. You've got this white line. The white line is the path that you're telling it to follow. The blue lines are the actual flight that the drone will make. So in this particular case, what it's going to do is it's going to start at the start point and it's going to fly up this blue line around the outside and down and then over across the bottom and then back up here. Um, I need to make a couple of other adjustments. These corners, um, I don't need them to be rounded like this. So I'm going to go into here and I'm going to change. Oh, I'm going to change the speed because I'm going to be very low to the ground. I'm going to change the speed to seven mile per hour and I'm going to change the corner radius to just five and that will sharpen those corners. The other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the focus mode to auto. Um, by default, the focus mode is set to NA. And I think some people have had problems where the drone didn't automatically focus or was focused on something else that was further away. Um, and that caused their photos to be less clear than they could have been. So changing the focus mode to auto should help. Other options for this particular client, they've got their own specific needs. So we're doing photos here. And they actually want the gimbal angle set to 75 degrees. So I'm going to change the gimbal angle to 75 degrees. Now for this client, they actually do just want two paths, one out and one back. But what I can show you is if you wanted more, if you had a wider area to cover, you can come down here and you can say pass count and you can make this. If you say one, you'll see it'll actually follow the white line. There we go. Or you could change it to, let's say, five. And then what it would do, based on your overlaps, it's going to create a path that will go out and back, following the path, following that white line. But it will actually create the overlaps to, to give you everything you need. But we're going to go back to two because that's what this particular client wants. So now that we've got this, we're going to do the typical um, run a preview just to make sure we can see where all the photos will be taken so we can see we've got good coverage and you can see if i if i follow this along you'll see it goes around the building and then comes back this way which is exactly what we want so let's go out and make a flight so here we are on site and as you can see the drone is happily following the two paths that we created. I'll cut to the end and sped this up quite considerably, but as you can see, it behaves exactly as expected. Anyway, that's it for another 5 Minute Friday. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Mission accomplished.